I can see I'm going to get in trouble when I get home. <laughs> but Ariana will be uh, returning in a day or two to her studies uh, pre-med at Syracuse. And because she's been giving her all, she's been giving her all to this campaign. And as always, uh, her sister and her and Ayla have been, uh, Ayla and Ariana obviously have been a joy to Gail and me. And we're so grateful to them both for their, their professionalism and their, their love and excitement and, and zest for life. And even before her campaign performances uh, in front of uh, millions of people, uh, you've heard Ayla's voice already on American Idol. And, and, as, uh, and, and, uh, and as a Boston College basketball player, many fans know that she's also pretty good on the court. And the reason I bring that up is because when I spoke to the president tonight, I asked the president, you know, because he has a couple of basketball courts there. <laughs> when I spoke to the president, the first thing I said, would you like me to drive the truck down to Washington so you can see it? Mr. President, I know you like basketball, so tell you what, why don't you pick your best player and I'll take Ayla and we'll take you on two on two. <laughs> and, uh, and unfortunately, he had a good sense of humor. We had a nice laugh, but I really do appreciate, obviously, speaking to Senator Kerry and Senator Kirk and the governor and the president and a whole host of other folks and uh, very thankful for them uh, coming out and, and, uh, and calling and reaching out so we could uh, you know, start to get on with the people's business. And I'm grateful for all those from across Massachusetts who came through for me even when I was a long shot. And I especially want to thank a very special friend with who, who, whose encouragement from the beginning uh, helped show me the way and show us the way to victory and that is uh, former Governor Mitt Romney. Thank you, Governor. <laughs> to Washington a, a few months ago. I'll never forget the help of another man who took the time to meet with me. He told me that I could actually win, and he gave me the confidence for the fight. It was, it was, it was also characteristic of a great American, a true hero. And tonight, I want to thank my new colleague, Senator John McCain. this when so many people mark your name on a statewide ballot you think back to the first people who gave you a chance and believed and for the trust they placed in me and for all they have taught me I want to thank my neighbors and friends in my Senate district and especially my hometown of Rentham the cause the cause and victory that all the cause and victory that all America uh, has seen tonight started right here with all of you. All of you, yes. And let me tell you, let me tell you, when I first got the feeling something big was happening in this campaign, it was when I was dri driving along on a, on a road out in central Massachusetts, and, and I saw it in my truck, yes. <laughs> and it has over 201,000 now. And I knew, things were, I knew things were really starting to click when I saw a, a, a handmade Scott Brown yard sign that I actually hadn't put there myself. <laughs> and this little campaign of ours was destined for greater things than any of us knew. And the message went far beyond you know, the sign that was there placed in the snow. And it all started with me, my truck, and a very few amount of dedicated volunteers. However, 
It ended with an Air Force One making an emergency run to Logan. Yeah. And I didn't mind. I didn't mind when the president came here and, and, and criticized me and, and talked about, you know, some of the things that he disagreed with me on, but let me tell you, when he started to criticize my truck, that's where I draw the line. <laughs> we had, throughout this race, we had the machines scared and scrambling, and, and, and for them, it's just the beginning of an election year filled with many, many surprises, I can tell you that. They will be challenged again and again across this great land. And when there's trouble in Massachusetts, rest assured, there's trouble everywhere, and they know it. State, I met with people, looked them in the eye, shook their hand, and asked them for their vote. I didn't care. I didn't care about party affiliation, uh, and they didn't, they didn't worry about mine. It was simply a shared conviction that brought us all together, and for that, I'm very thankful. And one thing is clear. One thing is very, very clear as I travel throughout the state. People do not want the trillion-dollar health care plan that is being forced that is being forced on the American people. And this bill is not being debated openly and fairly. It will raise taxes. It will raise taxes. It will hurt Medicare. It will destroy jobs and run our nation deeper into debt. Yeah, deeper into debt. That's not anything to clap about, because it's not in the interest of our state. It's, it's nothing to clap about, and it's not in the interest of our state and our country, and we can do better. traveled throughout the state, and I've had a lot of fun, and you guys are all having fun. So thank you. Thank you. We have, a, we have more of a show coming for you, so we're very excited. But when I'm in Washington, I will work with the Senate, in the Senate with the Democrats and Republicans to reform health care in an open and honest way. No more closed-door meetings, backroom deals, backroom deals. Backroom deals with an out-of-touch party leadership. No more hiding costs, concealing taxes, collaborating with a special interest, and leaving more trillions in debt for our children to pay. In health care, we need in health care we need to start fresh. We need to start fresh. Work together to do to do the job right. And I hate to sound repetitive, but once again, we can do better. I will work I will work in the Senate put, to put government back on the side of people who create jobs and the millions of people who need jobs. And remember, as President John F. Kennedy stated, that starts with across the board tax cuts for businesses and families to create jobs. Put, put more money in people's pocket, pockets and stimulate the economy. It's that simple. I will work. I will work with the Senate. I will work with the senators and the Senate to defend our nation's interests and to keep our military second to none. <laughs> 